Hello everybody, welcome back to some more train sim and today we are taking out this uh, Just Trains class 20 and uh, it is in DRS livery, uh, direct rail services and it is a very very grimy class 20 I must admit. We've actually got two class 20s because we actually have the uh, rail treatment um, on uh, in between them uh, we're going to be doing some morning spraying that's what this uh, scenario is called and we are on the great western main line so yeah well, i've never really um used the the treatment plant before so that'll be interesting to use and uh and yeah there's not really much more to say uh, before we get in and get going, I just want to say if you are a new viewer and you haven't already, please subscribe down below, like and hit the no notification bell on this video. Alright, let's um, jump in and get going. So here we are inside the cab. Hello driver. Please depart and head for Oxford. Please put the water cannon on at 25 mile an hour. Uh, to do this, press Control R. Okay, excellent. Uh, we've got a few bits of setup to do first, like cab lights and whatnot. Um, the Just Trains Class Twenty is actually really, really nice, and we can get those going here. Um, the Class Twenty is actually quite an old loco in itself. Let's get this up, and let's get the uh, key in there. Uh, ah, okay, so it has turned. Right, where are we going? We're going down there. Yeah, the class 20. I wonder if I can speed that up. It seems to be a bit weird with the um, raindrops, but um, you've got to remember this is actually quite an old, um, old thing is class 20 um, I thought that there was a way to put the maybe not uh, that's to do with the brakes uh, okay I think I oh, know it's down here this is what I was looking for um, it must already be on right Let's see if we can not I can't see it there. Now ah, there we go. EWS, that's what I wanted. Right, so forward. Give it a little bit of power. Take the brake off. And we are literally just going to Oxford. I will show you the power plant here, look. Um, we've got sort of double heading class 20s in the middle there we have the treatment um, the track treatment plant if you call it it's basically just like a big jet wash these tanks have got water in and solution and whatnot and it basically just sprays the track um, and we are very very grimy us and the uh, and the water treatment plant so uh very very grimy uh, I tried to put in some lights on the front here but I don't seem to be able to yeah it doesn't doesn't seem to want to work but we're just sort of leaving the yard here and we are actually coming back to this siding after we've reached Oxford now we can't start the treatment yet until we reach 25 mile an hour so until we get the all clear to head up to that speed we won't start it control r i think it was to start the uh, the jet wash and yeah this is a little strange how it's um it sort of just disappears or it starts the animation over again you know you've got to realize that this is you know this is an older 
an older Just Trains sort of loco. Um, there is a sort of newer uh, Dovetail one, uh, but there doesn't seem to be many scenarios for that Class 20. It's in the uh, you can get it in the rail uh, rail freight red stripe, which I personally really like the class 20 in that color scheme but yeah there doesn't seem to be any like scenarios for it to be honest and i don't know why i haven't really looked on the workshop i think there might be a few on there but um yeah it would require me to have a little bit of a look to see if i can get a scenario for that class 20 but the Just Trains one, there are quite a few scenarios for the Just Trains Class 20. Um, but yeah, it looks really, really good. I really enjoy the Class 20. It's uh, it's an old loco. It is an old loco. It's from that early sort of diesel era of locos. And let's, um, let's get a photo of this, actually. Because we can pause it and yeah it is from that early early diesel era there we go we'll get one from this side excellent Right, we've been given the all clear, so we can actually start to power this up. And there it is. So we'll start the sprayer. There it is, we started it at the back there. So it's now cleaning the track. If I press control R again, does it shut it off? Yeah. So control R starts it. Excellent. So we are now cleaning the track. Um, we're on the Great Western Main Line. Let's hear that horn actually. Yeah, and like I say, the Class 20 is one of those uh, just old, old locos from a long time ago. Um, it was sort of the first sort of diesel era. Um, and it was sort of meant for doing this sort of, sort of work shunting, uh, carrying sort of freight it was never meant to be any more than than a sort of a workhorse but it did its job well but as you can see from the cab it looks very much like an 08 um they very much were like an extended 08 essentially and yeah there's not really much controls here not really much else going on very simple very simple but it does the job well. It does the job well. And uh, they got a bit of a... Um, they got a bit of a revitalize in the DRS um, livery. They were sort of get, showing their age. And they got sort of a, um, a refurb. A revitalize um, with DRS. Um, and I'm not sure if they still run now, if they still run them around now, I've not really seen any for a very long time. So I don't think they do, but maybe they use them in the yards and stuff, um, privately owned yards and whatnot. So Oxford sidings, I imagine we're going to have to cut it off when we come down um, the speed. We're gonna have to when we get below 25 mile an hour. We'll have to shut the uh, the treatment off. As you can see, it's working in the back there, and uh, it's getting out of the class 20 very mucky, <laughs> spraying all that stuff on it. But yeah, it's quite a cool little um, it's quite a cool little plant actually. Um, I'm not sure if it's a just trains 
um, thing this or whether it's like it's part of the dovetail set or what I don't know but yeah it's quite a cool uh, cool thing there is a few um, uh, sort of uh, rail infrastructure things that you can get especially on Alan Thompson sim there's the baluster um, I think there's a baluster on just trains as well but there's a baluster and, and whatnot um, kick it around which a lot of people use them for background um, background sort of uh, decoration in routes but uh, there is a few scenarios that you can use them for like the baluster there is a few scenarios where you can use the baluster and yeah just very very cool scenarios I thought this one would be a bit different to what we normally do we, we either normally do some like freight or a passenger service this is not it doesn't really fall into any of those categories it's uh it's sort of um railway maintenance um i guess you'd call it which i mean we've done shunting before now we've done the doncaster works which is uh shunting locos into the shed and whatnot and, and um because they, they they've even got no engines or whatever but uh, no, this is something completely different. This is track or rail um, maintenance or uh, infrastructure maintenance. Which is not freight or passenger. And I just think that looks really cool. The horn is like a bit a bit too uh, squeaky. I I'd like a big a nice horn. What's that coming the other way? Passenger service. Uh, one, one four four. I think it was something like that. I can't remember. One six six. I can't. I can't remember what those are. Yeah, we're just getting uh, getting along here. I don't think we've got a. Uh, we've actually got a sixty mile an hour permitted speed on this uh, loco. It actually says up here. Uh, maximum permitted speed of this train is 60. Um, the RHTT. Um, that's what it's called. Uh, I forget what it stands for, but it's basically track treatment. Um, yeah, we're running a little bit faster than what we're permitted to run. Imagine that went off to C now. We've got green, so I don't really know why it went off. Speed change potentially. knock off the speed for now let's let it coast down we're not far from this siding um, and then we're making our way all the way back to Didcot um, imagine it's just telling us to be aware that we are coming up onto a siding soon so it might actually just change like that so we need to be really careful actually um, we might start applying a little bit of brake. Because we are coming up onto this quite quick. You see we can go down to 25 obviously going across points like that is normally about 25 depends how tight the curve is or how tight the points are sometimes they're 15 10 mile an hour 
this looks like it's 25 so we will start coming down And I've, I've been really surprised, actually, recently. Um, train Sim's actually been running really smoothly. Um, I haven't really had any crashes on the home screen or anything. Um, sometimes when it does that, it's really annoying. Do not, re uh, do not verify the game files when that happens, by the way, on Train Sim. Um, a lot of people think... Oh, I'll just verify the game files and it'll be fine. Do not do that. Just reinstall Train Sim. Um, it's normally because it's overloaded um, with DLC or uh, third-party content, such as like having a lot of Armstrong Powerhouse can slow it down and make it crash sometimes. Um, we got a red light on this signal. I'm not too sure. We might be okay, I don't know. And we'll knock off the um, treatment plant. There it is. But yeah, don't don't verify your game files in train sim because it will it will just make things worse the best way if you just keep getting crashes and crashes constantly just reinstall it um, and try and limit the amount of content that you've got installed at one time if you want to play with a certain so let's say you want to play with the Armstrong Powerhouse 6.6 install that pack uh, that enhancement pack play with it and then um, I mean I, I'm, I'm guilty of this I don't tend to delete the packs afterwards to uh, to save on space in the actual game but what you should do is you should just install them when you need them um, to keep the game nice and consistent and running smoothly but uh, I don't do that which is why my game sometimes crashes a lot <laughs> and uh, yeah So we'll start slowing this down even more. Because we don't want to overshoot this siding. If we can help it. Perfect. Perfect. We'll just knock it off there. Because I think we'll be uh, going back the other way. So we'll need to uh, swap ends. That's looking really good. Switch cabs and head back to Didcart. As soon as you get out of the main line, press B to start the water cannons up. Uh, okay, so it's uh, B to start them on that side. Okay then. Um, so let's switch cabs. We'll actually knock off the cab lights here and the uh, see if we can get these to go off there we go there we go so yeah knock them off we'll take the key out oh, uh, is it because no, that's it. Key out. And uh, we will switch cabs. Okay, key in. We will get this up, like that. Get some lights on. Get that on. And I think we're basically ready to pull out of here. We've been given the green.
Uh, don't know what it was saying about pressing B, because B for me is the horn. Um, we'll try it when we get up to 25 mile an hour. And onto the main line. If not, I can always press Control R again to load it up. But I will try and hold B or something as we get onto here. Uh, we're not stopping at Oxford. So I don't have to worry about that. Let's try B. Uh, so we'll have to do Control R. Have we got a green light? We are speeding a little bit, I must admit. But, um, yeah, water treatment's on. And yeah. And you can actually hear it this side. Um, the sprayer must be sort of located, located this side. It's like generators and stuff for it, tanks of water. Quite a clever little system, really. Let's uh, get this thing moving. This won't really be a long scenario. It'll be about a 25, maybe 30 minute scenario. Not very long at all. Um, sometimes they can be 60. Uh, I have seen ones which are well over an hour 120 minutes long which are which is um two hours long you know those are the sorts of scenarios that are they are really stream uh stream scenarios when you know if you were streaming it on the uh, youtube i have thought about doing some streams um if I've got the uh, if I've got the audience for it and I've got the um, enthusiasm to do a stream, I, I probably will start. But uh, at the moment, I'm sort of limited on time, and I and I just do videos every now and then. We do do one a week, a video a week. Every Wednesday, I upload a video. If you were wondering, uh, if you are a new viewer, please like and subscribe down below. And yeah, I upload every Wednesday and at uh, half three, and the videos seem to be going well so far. So it's good news. HST going past them, using our nicely cleaned track that we uh that we have cleaned up and that'll be another thing why they don't clean this as well is it'll probably be getting mucky every single time it goes out so they probably just wouldn't bother cleaning these because it would just be a nightmare to constantly have to clean these every time you took it out it'll probably get done like I don't know maybe once every six months or something um, but the majority of the time is it will just never get done you can see how grimy the windows are here. Look, there's a layer of grime just over the windows. You can't see it from the outside, but here, look. Yeah, and you can see it streaking down the side of the cab. It's just a mucky, mucky engine. That's all right, though. We like weathered, weathered locos sometimes. We're going a bit fast again, I must admit. Yeah, we like nice weather locos. I left the brake on on the other side. I don't know if that's actually a problem. I don't think it would be. Um, but you never know. We might have. We might be just dragging the brakes along uh, on the back side of this. But I'm not seeing any sparks, so uh, we assume it's good. 
it's probably not good practice to be fair the good practice is probably to put it into um, you know into neutral break um, what we got here we got locomotive break train break uh, so if I was using the train break it was probably fine actually it probably uh, I'd pr it'd probably just all come off when I when I took the break off here if it was the train brake, it would probably be a bit different. Or the handbrake, which is down here. This wheel is the handbrake. Yeah, you did a beautiful shot. Beautiful shot to that. It's early morning, so it's uh, we've still got the moon um, out. It must be like a winter winter time and um, we're not far from here now Nice little running shot there. I tend not to do many running shots. Um, sometimes it's a bit difficult if you're on a passenger service to do a running shot. I mean, this one we've managed to stay outside of it a lot. But um, yeah, sometimes running shots just some work, some don't. Sometimes they're just some some running shot, like especially with a long freight locomotive. That running shots with those just are my favourite. I think we're going a bit fast again. Something a bit different this time. Uh, the OMC2 videos are doing really well. I am absolutely loving OMC2 at the moment. Um, there's just so much coming out for OMC2, which is it, it just makes it exciting. It makes the game exciting. Um, but Lincolnshire got an update recently, so I will be uh, doing the update on Lincolnshire soon. Uh, and then we've just got some really other good stuff coming out for it soon. Euro Truck is an absolute staple. You, you know, you can't you can't get better than Euro Truck. What was happening with that station there? <laughs> yeah, you can't get better than Euro Truck at the moment. Um, it is the best of the best when it comes to sort of trucking simulators. There are nothing. There is nothing else out there that even compares. Um, and I haven't played their other game, um, American Truck Sim, but I'm happy playing uh, Euro Truck. It's, uh, it's a good staple. It does the videos don't do that well on the channel, but um, I'm happy to keep it going. Train Sim Classic. There's so much uh, content out there for Train Sim Classic, whether it's third-party stuff or dovetail stuff. They're constantly bringing out new routes for it and and updates and whatnot so yeah that, that's exciting and there's a lot going on in the train some classic world but i've also looked into doing uh more stuff uh more sims flight sim i've looked at um i've looked oh, obviously i used to do farming sim but i could start up another farming sim series if that's what people would like um i don't know sort of what people are looking for so if you want to tell me down in the comments please go ahead and do so but uh farming sim we could do farming sim again um snow runner i've been looking at a bit of snow runner and i've sort of wanted to jump back on there um especially now that there's a lot of mods for it seems quite fun um city sky uh not city skylines uh, transport fever 2 uh, i want to do some more transport fever stuff because uh, there's a lot of nice mods for that I want to do like a West Midlands, Birmingham based um, 
sort of map on um, on Transport Fever 2. And yeah, there's, uh, I'm just waiting for some other games to sort of maybe come out. Um, have we got... We have not got the... We've not got a red there. Have we got a red? We need to stop here, I think. Uh, are we going to go past it? Just about. I think we'd be, uh, I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine to carry on. I think we did have to sort of stop there, but, uh, let's just hope that there's no locos coming the other way. <laughs> and we can get away with it. That is one of the big issues on uh, Standard, is on a career. That would have ended the scenario. Um, standard, it doesn't end it. We can just carry on over. Yeah, we're speeding. But, uh... No, we've got away with it. Now we're just making our way into the sidings. Where obviously we're going to park up for the day. And we've probably got some other duties on um, on our docket to uh, get done today if we're a yard worker. You know, we've probably got some shunting to do or some prep to do. But uh, once we park this up, we'll um, shut it down. And uh, yeah, get on with our other jobs for today. just keep this up so we know sort of where to stop sometimes if you don't stop on the marker it uh it will actually put an x next to the objective like you didn't complete it and then um you will actually sort of not complete the scenario or fail the scenario so we want to just make sure that we're past this really successfully stop here right we will jump outside the loco and sort of review how we did okay that was the class 20 in drs livery and we took this water treatment plant uh, and we cleaned the rails on this fine fine morning the scenario was called morning spray and we were on the great western main line and yeah i really like the just trains um class 20 is very good it is quite old now we sort of do need an updated one but it is still a very very good loco to have all right so if you enjoyed this video i'd appreciate a like and a subscribe down below hit the notification bell and i will see you in the next one bye bye